Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Thank you for joining me today. Here I am. Um, a lot of people have been saying, hey, how come we don't get to see your face anymore? Um, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to be honest. Uh, half the time I don't have makeup on. I'm super tired. I probably look like crap. <laughs> so that's probably why I don't show my face so much lately. I'm just pooched. Um, but anywho, it's a uh, it's eight o'clock on um, Wednesday night, Wednesday, November. I have to think about that for a sec. Wednesday, November 4th, eight o'clock. I literally just got home with my husband. Um, I haven't even changed my clothes. Look, I'm wearing jeans. I never wear jeans. <laughs> I'm wearing jeans. I didn't even go upstairs to change into my painting clothes. I said, because if I go upstairs and get into comfy clothes, I'm not coming back down. So I said, forget it. I'm gonna do a quick video because um, we're getting kicked out of the house for the next like two days um, because tomorrow they are um, spray foaming all the cavities, all the walls on the basement, main floor and upstairs. And the smell apparently is very toxic um, and not good. So we all need to vacate. Um, so we're packing the kids up, packing the dogs up, going down the road, thankfully, to my in-laws and we're gonna sleep there. Um, for the night because it's gonna be really bad in here apparently. So anywho, that's why I have to do a video tonight because tomorrow, which is Thursday, which is when they're working, is when I'm gonna release this video and which is when you guys are watching. So lots going on. I'm super, super excited. Um, like I said, foam insulation tomorrow um, and Wednesday next week, they start drywalling. Eee! So my husband and I went and picked up tiles, kitchen tiles for the kitchen floor super excited stupendously expensive um but that's what we were doing so just got back now i'm going to do a video um so that is my update on the reno uh what else what else what else what else i don't know <laughs> i don't know oh i want to show you guys something that i got new and i'm working on and i will give you guys more information about it um probably in the next video um because i'm still working on them so it's still work in progress um it's not finished yet but I wanted to show you guys some new stuff I have. Look at my Christmas ornament. Now this is alcohol ink, um, and this is uh, an acrylic. It's made out of acrylic, so it's very hard. Uh, where's the box? Uh, it's all the way over there, can't get it. Um, so it's acrylic, and I've done it with alcohol ink. So pink alcohol ink with uh, gold on this one. Um, and it's super cute, and it's gonna get a coat of resin. So it comes in three shapes, that shape, this shape, which is like an onion shape. So this one's blue with gold and I painted the sides gold. There's the back. Um, it's got a, a brown sticky piece of paper. You peel it off and it comes off right with the wet resin drips. So that one's like an onion shape. And then, oi, circle. So this is my green with my gold. So you see that, look at that texture, which you won't get to see after the resin goes on, but it's gonna shimmer. Um, I'll show you without trying not to touch it too much because it's still a little tacky, a little tacky. See, it's stuck to the cup. <laughs> Don't drop it. Here's one with resin on it. I hope it doesn't fall. Don't fall, don't fall. Look at, it. it's so pretty. I love it. So I'm making a bunch of these. They will be available for purchase. Um, I'm, they're, like I said, they're being done with alcohol ink. I've got all kinds of colors. I'm looking at them right now. There's yellow, blue, black and gold, purple, red, uh, orange, and pink. And I went and picked up some new colors today. Um, so new alcohol inks. Um, uh, yeah, so they will be available for purchase. I will uh, mention in my next video, I'll show you guys when they're dry. I'll be able to show them better. I'll tell you where I got them. If you guys are interested to know where I got them, uh, off a lovely lady, I found her on Instagram. She sells them on her Etsy site. Um, I will post that information on my Instagram. Um, for those, speaking of Instagram, I hit 50,000 um, followers on Instagram. Yay, and thank you to everyone who is on Instagram and follows me. I am doing a giveaway on Instagram. Um, so the giveaway is uh, three prizes which is um, prize one, it's a half um, liter crystal resin kit. Second prize is the same thing, the resin kit. And third prize is a 24 pack of the pigment powders that crystal resin um, sells on their website. 
So it's the three prizes. Um, it's open to um, US and Canadian view, um, uh, residents only, I'm sorry. Um, Crystal Resin can't ship internationally, so it's free shipping, that's why. Um, so Canada and US, three winners. If you're on Instagram, head on over to Instagram, um, follow the rules, and you will be entered to win. Um, I've had a few people comment and ask, well, how come, you know, YouTubers can't participate in that? I don't have Instagram. I don't, a lot of you don't have Instagram and I get that. Um, but don't forget, I, I did a massive giveaway when I hit hundred K here on YouTube. Um, I gave away like eight prizes. So, you know, I did the YouTube giveaway and now I'm trying to be fair and do an Instagram giveaway. So if you're on Instagram, head over. If you're not on Instagram, join Instagram if you want a chance to win. Your odds are better on Instagram than they were here on YouTube. Um, so that's the giveaway. The giveaway runs until Saturday, November, well, this Saturday, <laughs> this upcoming Saturday, and it runs till midnight. And then I will pick um, three winners randomly, okay? Uh, so the ornaments, resin, uh, I mean the resin prizes for the giveaway for Instagram, um, my paddles um, are still, the, the uh, bidding is still happening on the auction for the paddles for Camp Ooch for the children that helps, uh, the camp that helps children with cancer. Blah, 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 blah. I can't get my words straight. Um, so that's still going on. Um, and I think that's it. I think the paddles are, la I haven't checked in a few days, but last I checked they were up at a thousand bucks. So that's really great. There's some beautiful paddles out there. There's a hundred of them in total. So anywho, check it out. Um, paddleauction.ca if anyone is interested. Um, and that's it. So I am going to bring you guys down on the canvas. Um, and I will discuss what I'm doing and um, what colors I'm going to be using. And let's get to that pour. Be right back. All right, guys. So welcome back. In my last video, I showed you guys um, how I flooded my canvas when I'm doing um, a split pour. Oh, my low battery just went on. Hold on. Hopefully I have enough battery to do this video because that would suck. Um, so I better start talking quick. Um, so I showed you guys in the last video how I, I poured my base to do a, um, a split pour. And a lot of you really were happy about that and were really... I'm grateful and thankful to see the whole process. So I've also had a lot of questions about how I tape the back and where the push pins go um, on my canvases. So I've already done two over here. So what I have here is a 12 by 12. Now I ran out of my level one canvases for 12 by 12 for these experiments. So I have to use a level three gallery wrapped canvas. Okay, now the difference between level one and level three is um, gallery wrapped. You can see there's no staples um, in the canvas at all. Um, level one, the canvas is pulled over and stapled down. Okay, now you see, you see in there all that rubber, there's like rubber silicone or I don't know what it is, but anyways, it's all here in the seam. This is where I put my push pin in that rubber. I don't put it into the wood, I put it in the rubber. If you have a level one canvas, I have to nail, uh, hammer in my push pin into the wood because this rubber silicone stuff isn't on the level one canvases. All right, so what I do is I just take some tape. This is painter's tape from the dollar store. No expensive 3M, none of that nonsense. This is from the dollar store. If you're in Canada, it's from Dollarama. Um, it's like two bucks. I know it's nothing's a dollar anymore, but anywho, <laughs> so, I just put it here, take my scissors, cut it to the end, and I will do this side over here. Hopefully you can see that better. Like so. And I don't put it so far to the edge where it's going over the edge because you don't want that because if you end up, if you do resin your pieces, um, you want the drips to be on the inside, not coming out on the outside. So you can see I've left a teeny tiny, can you see that little lip? Little, little bit here on the end. You don't wanna go right to the end. Don't go right to the end. A lot of people complain that even after they put tape, the paint still gets under the tape. Well, you gotta make sure that you have this seal down really well. So what I do is I take a popsicle stick and I rub it. 
I rub it on the edge. That way it makes the tape really adhere very well to the canvas. Okay, just doing this with your hands doesn't always help. You get this and you really push it down. And then I just take the top and in the grooves where you saw, I push it down a little more. Okay, that's it. Then I take my push pins and now I can see because I went like that, I can see where the grooves are. So now I will put my push pin right into that silicone -y rubber stuff. Okay, just like so. One, two, three, four. Ena, dio, tria, tesera. One, two, three, four in Greek. There's, there's your Greek lesson. Okay, put my scissors away. And then what you want to do is make sure you don't drop your level. What you want to do is make sure your canvas is level. So I'm going to put it here. We are not level. Sometimes when you... You see that little wobble? So you got to fix that. I'm going to put it up here. Popsicle stick. Let's try that again. And we are almost level. Which way do I got to go? This way. So I'm going to get another popsicle stick. And I'm going to put it here. And here. And now I am perfectly level. I'm not sure if you can see that, but now it's perfectly level, okay? So I use these popsicle sticks to prop up certain sides of my canvas if I need to, and that's perfectly level, and that is perfectly level. So there you have it, perfectly level all the way around. Why am I dropping everything today? Okay. Alrighty, so my torch, my good torch, get that. Today we are doing our gray background. I'm not doing two canvases, obviously, because actually I'm running out of space. My drying rack over there is full, um, and my other baker's rack over there is almost full. And because I have workers coming tomorrow and Friday, and they're going to be here in the basement, I can't risk leaving wet paintings everywhere because they'll probably ruin them. So um, yeah, I have enough space for one canvas and that is it. So that's why I'm doing one tonight. Um, you know, things are gonna get really crazy around here and very busy. So I'm hoping I can continue with the uh, uh, video every three days like I am doing now. But if you don't see one, don't panic. I'm probably still alive somewhere, just very busy. Or I don't have the opportunity to paint because there's stuff going on, right, in the house. So um, don't worry, I will be back though. All right, so now, got that all on there. I hope I don't get my clothes dirty because that would really be a bummer. <laughs> bummer. And just like that, my spatula is clean. I don't even need to go and wash it. You just wipe it off and it's clean and ready for the next pour. That's why I love this thing. It's my favorite. My favorite tool for spreading paint. You can find that in my Amazon shop. Link is listed in the description below. And now I'm going to use my Loli Veffy squeeze bottle that has the same gray. And I am going to get all my edges covered. Now, something I noticed the other day that I'm gonna tell you about. So this gray, I mix, it's not two paint, I mix it myself with Artist Loft Flow Acrylic Black and Flow Acrylic White and I mix them together and I get gray. If you're gonna mix a new batch, so some, you know, when this finishes, I mix a new batch, I fill it up again. The problem is, it's not going to be the exact same gray as the gray I have in my squeeze bottle. It might be a smidge different in variation. I learned that the hard way because when I did one of my gray pores and I used this to touch up a, a section, it was different color. Even though my ratios were the same, it was you could tell there was a hint of a different color. So now when I mix a new batch of this, I take this, I pour it in here, empty this out, give this a good shake, 
and then I pour this back in here and fill it up. That way I know for this particular pour, the grays are gonna be the same. So that's my trick to you, my little tidbit of information, because I, I learned that the hard way um, when I went to go and touch up some spots with my, um, with my squeeze bottle after my pour was done, I noticed that the gray was different. Not a lot, but just enough where I could tell there was a difference. And I was like, oh my goodness. So now I've learned my lesson. And now I, um, like I said, I pour that into here, give it a good shake. And uh, then it's the same gray. So keep that in mind if you're mixing your own colors, not just gray, any color. If you mix blue with a little bit of white to make it lighter blue and you have part of it in a bottle, put the bottle in it with it. Mix it all together and then fill up the bottle again. Okay, so I just temporarily did that with my edges. You know I'm gonna fix that later. I am going to pop the bubbles because there's a lot of bubbles in here because I shook that like crazy right before I started the video. Okay, so there we go. Tonight's colors, as you can tell, are green. So we are starting off with the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic Black, black which is this bottle, obviously, but black. Um, so that's in here. And then white, same thing, white. And then in here we have Iridescent Green Yellow by Pebeo and my lovely Loli Vefi squeeze bottles. Um, light Portrait Pink, because you know I'm going to put these together for sure actually look at this look how pretty that is right look isn't that pretty hold on hold on there we go look at that so pretty okay back to that okay so iridescent green yellow by pebeo then we have portrait pink light portrait pink by liquitex basics phthalo blue by um did I say blue? What is wrong with me today? <laughs> Thalo green. It's green, Canela. It's Thalo green um, by Liquitex Basics. Oh my goodness. And of course, my 24 karat gold by Deco Art. And I mixed up the order on that. I'm going to put it like that. You want it, if you have a metallic, you want it, you don't want it to be the last color on top. Never put a metallic on top unless you're doing all metallics, obviously. Um, because when you put it down and then you put a regular color on top, the cells will come through if you, cause the metallic colors help create cells. Um, so Floetrol creates cells, but metallic colors helps and makes more cells. So if you put the metallic on the top, it's not really going to create cells because it's on the top, put it underneath, right? So that's why I have the iridescent down here and the 24 here, and then I have the green on the top. And the green I want to show the most because it is a green pour. So I'm gonna stop jibber jabbering, <laughs> blah, 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 blah. And I'm going to start this pour. And um, I will think about my next video. Um, should be a commission piece, but I don't know if I'm gonna have the space for it. We shall see. Um, but I will think of another color combo. Ooh, um, I was thinking like the bronze and coppers and golds. Oh my, maybe something like that on this gray base and see what happens. And actually I'm gonna put this back. I like being able to just put it back and then I clean up. Clean up and get it out of the way at the same time. See that? Love that. I can't wait till my new art space is ready, but it isn't going to be ready anytime soon. Um, it's going to be the very last thing that is um, done in this house, unfortunately. But that's okay. All good things come to those who wait. And I am a patient person. Well, most of the time. Not really. <laughs> but what can you do? I'm lucky enough to have the space that I currently have now. And it's been working for me for the last year and a half, two years. So it'll work fine for another four or five months. Okay, colors are down. Let's blow this out and see what beautiness we get. It's beauty, but I 
lost my portrait pink. Where did you go? There's only a little bit right here. And a little smidge of it here. I should have added more. Aside from that, though, it's so pretty. It reminds me of the Emerald City in The Wizard of Oz. I love that movie. Judy Garland was awesome. <gasps> Follow the yellow brick road. <laughs> That's what this reminds me of. The yellow or well, gold is like the yellow brick road. And look at the cells that are forming. Um, but the green is totally the Emerald City. I actually like this. And I think I'm going to call this painting Emerald City. I really like it. I really wish there was more portrait pink, though. I lost a lot of it over here. And I'm afraid if I add some, it's just going to mess it up. So I'm not even going to touch it. And there's like this really nice streak of white here in the black. How interesting. This is such a lovely piece. I got gray on my knuckles. Okay, I'm not, um, I'm not torching anything. Whoa, that iridescent green yellow with the gold you'll see when the lights go off it's so pretty um i'm not torching the petal i'm torching the gray because i see some bubbles yeah and i'm not going to do that again because these little teeny teeny white circles just popped up oh um before i forget um a lot of people and one not the last video the video before i said i no longer or the video before that i don't know a couple videos ago i mentioned i no longer flood my um colors because i find that the colors remain more vibrant this way and i had a lot of new um viewers say what does that mean by you don't flood your colors anymore so you know how i poured um my stripe lines usually um what happens is um other artists will take more gray and pour it on each side of the colors and then blow it over and then blow it all out. Um, I don't do that anymore. I stopped doing that in December of last year um, because I find that the colors remain a lot more vibrant this way. So that's what I meant by I don't flood my colors. I don't put the base paint over the, co the striped colors and blow it out. I don't do that. So that's what that means for the new people who are watching. I am going to um, bring you guys down for a close-up. This is so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna bring you guys down for a close-up. Be right back. All right, everybody, welcome back. Here we go. So here is, don't forget, I. so as you can see, I totally missed this side. <laughs> oh my God, this should be like a blooper video. But actually, now you're gonna get to see how I fix my sides because um, uh, other people have, if I can get this, twist it open okay so this is how I fix my sides so after my pour is done this is the side that wasn't done properly so what I do is I take my squeeze bottle and I will pour a bead right across like so and now with my really odd position I take my finger and don't mind me using my middle finger sorry I dab it like so and there you go side is fixed you see that that is how i fix my sides there you go because a lot of people were asking how do i do that so you just take your squeeze bottle you may think it's a waste of paint but you saw what it looked like before if that dries like that it's gonna look like you know what i'm not gonna say it but that's what it'll look like. So you cannot neglect your sides. So I have fixed them, all sides, all the way around. I can't believe I missed that spot, but actually that was a good thing because now I got to show you guys how I fix it. And see all those drips? You see that spot right there? You can see the canvas, no good. So what you wanna do is you wanna eliminate the drips just like so, okay? Those drips are not good. And then when you see a little bit of the canvas like that, you just take your finger and dab it. And there you go, you fixed it. Okay, that is how you fix that. So now come over here, clean off your drips and go all the way around. And I know this sounds repetitive, but again, guys, I'm sorry. I have a lot of new viewers, new subscribers every day that cleaning those drips off prevents the paint from being pulled off the top down the bottom and ruining your composition come back to it 15 20 minutes later scrape again if you need to scrape a third time scrape again after that you should be good to go 
and not worry about it anymore. Okay, now let's check out the piece. She's a beauty. See all the port... I almost got my cord in there. See all the portrait pink in here and portrait pink here, but I kind of lost it over here. I kind of wish... There's, there's some more of it there, actually. I kind of wish I had added a little bit more of that. However, I'm super happy with this. And the green looks very, very pretty. Now it is moving, can you tell? So if you go back when I was done, this hadn't gone over the edge and that hadn't gone over the edge. Now you all saw the canvas was level, but when there's a lot of paint on the canvas, it will continue, it will continue to shift. So just keep that in mind. It's not always going to stay exactly the way you left it. All right. So there you have it with the studio lights on. It's super pretty. I'm really happy with it. I really like green. It's very pretty. Okay. So I'm going to turn the studio lights off and let's check out that shimmer. Okay. And here we are with the studio lights off and the beautiful shimmer. Look at that. This is so pretty and when, as usual, it's going to get a top coat of crystal resin and it's going to shine even more because resin really makes the colors pop and in the sunlight this thing's going to be gorgeous. So there you have it. Okay, and if, like I said, if you want to um, purchase crystal resin, you can get a 5% discount using code CANELA5. Uh, Loli Vefi squeeze bottles, um, anything Loli Vefi, you can save 10% off using code Canela 10 All that information is listed in the description below. So just check that out and you'll get all the info you need. Um, oh, I can't get over how pretty this is. This pi pi oh my God. <laughs> oh boy, this piece is available for purchase for anyone who's interested. I love this part, this part right here. Look at that. It's so rich. If you are interested in this 12 by 12 piece, uh, it is level three gallery wrapped. Um, please email me at canelasaraco at gmail.com and get it while you can. Here, I'll show you my, you see those? I don't know if you can see them shimmer in this light, but those are, I'll go around the table real quick. These are the two that I resin today. I did testers. So these are still, look how pretty. These are still drying. This is a big mess. I, warning, if you play with alcohol ink, wear gloves. I did not wear gloves. I managed to get most of it off, but you should have seen me yesterday. It was ridiculous. Um, so here's yellow. So sparkly, another blue one. We have black and gold purple and gold and red look at that and of course they all get um i use my krylon 18 karat gold leafing pen to do the sides they need another coat i usually have to do two coats but again this is all new to me this is the first time i've done this i did this yesterday so still learning but I'm loving the way they turned out. And once they get resin on them, like so, look at that. Gorgeous Christmas tree ornaments. So if you're interested in any ornaments, let me know in the comments below. Um, and stay tuned on Instagram. And maybe in my next video, I'll talk more about it and tell you guys where, where I got them and where you can get them and all that fun stuff. So until then, guys, uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell, that way you're notified every time a new video is posted, keeps you up to date so you don't miss a thing. So hit that red subscription button. And until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day, have a good night, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.